So today is a really fun video. We are going to be <laughs> doodling our life. So taking some really simple tools, equipment, and a pen, some paper, and some watercolors or brush pens if you want. And we'll be creating some amazing little doodles, building up from simple shapes all the way into sort of quite complicated scenes, but they'll still feel simple, delightful, and fun. You may have seen my previous videos on this, and I just wanted to recap the kind of basics, where this kind of idea of doodling comes from um, and how we can build up these scenes. So doodling for me is just a really simple, lovely way to spend a bit of time. There's nothing that needs to be achieved more than that. But when we doodle, when we start building up our page full of doodles, actually these pages become real quite pretty works of art, things we can really be proud of. And there are really simple ideas that we can use to both make it more relaxing, make it easier, and make that finished art more effective. Now the first of those things is the idea of just using simple shapes. We can draw a circle, a square, and a triangle, and underneath we can draw a triangle, a circle, and a square, and now we have some people, and it's that easy. Other ideas to make things more interesting are to build up a bit of line weight. Bolder lines invoke the idea of shadow and weight, Having some hatching invokes a bit of texture and it gives some shadow. Also, just adding tiny details is really important. So we can draw the same shape twice, but by adding different details, we get very different outcomes. Now, this could be, you know, we could be building up some people and one of them becomes a man and one becomes a woman. One becomes a man wearing a suit. Another becomes a woman walking a dog. Tiny little details will change things fundamentally. Here we've got the same sort of shape and one of them's a coffee cup filled with hot steaming coffee and the other is perhaps a little bowl of fruit. So just remembering those really simple details is basically what this is about. And once we do that, we can build up our simple shapes into simple objects, and then build up those simple objects into more complicated objects. And before you know it, we'll be sketching a scene and we'll have created a beautiful finished project. Now, if you like having a bit of a project and if you like breaking your sketching up into sort of bite-sized chunks to make life easier and to learn more, then Skillshare, the sponsor for today's video, is a brilliant place to do that. YouTube's amazing for just getting this flurry of information. So in today's video, we'll be doodle sketching our life and having fun, and you'll be able to learn loads. And you can learn absolutely tons on YouTube, of course, and on loads of other resources. On Skillshare, I'm releasing a Skillshare class about this exact topic, which I'll be releasing the same day today as I'm releasing this YouTube video. The difference is, on YouTube, we're having fun, we're loosening up, and you'll get loads of little bits of tips and advice. On Skillshare, I've broken it down into simple ideas. So we spend longer building up the ideas to make you feel more confident, understand more about why you're doing things. And by the end, you will definitely have an increased sort of knowledge base, an increased confidence to keep developing and moving forward your sketching and your doodling and to have just basically produced a really wonderful little project. So Skillshare is like an online learning community um, and I love using it both as a teacher on there, but also as a student. When I go to the classes and when I design my own classes, they have to be broken up into these kind of sensible, well-structured little chunks. And that means when I go to a, a lesson, be that a lesson on, art and creativity, how to draw a dog, how to paint a sort of summer landscape. Or for my business needs, I might look up how to do my search engine optimization better. But when I go to a class, I know that I'm going to be able to achieve the outcome because the teacher will have broken up that class into lots of little bite-sized lessons. So with all that said and done, if you would like to join me on Skillshare, you can find my link down below. Um, the first 500 people to click it will get a month free from Skillshare. Um, and there you can try out 
any of my 30 classes, but more importantly, any of the thousands of other classes on such a wide variety of subjects, um, and just really have a bit of fun. Now, with all of that said and done, should we go back to our YouTube project? Because on YouTube, we can learn loads of really great stuff. And in today's video, we're going to talk about building up little scenes. We're going to wander around my life, my house, and work out ways of making things interesting. So one first tip is add people. We've looked at simple shapes of people, but we can build that up. We can make it a bit more interesting if we loosen those shapes up and we add a posture. So I've got a person holding a phone just by changing the angle of their hand. And over here, we can have a bit of fun with someone popping something in a bin. And that is supposed to be our recycling bin, which is supposed to be Betty proof. Betty, of course, being my dog. And is it Betty proof? Not a hundred percent, but there you go. It's great to then find other little things around the house to do. One of my favorite parts of the house, the kitchen. I absolutely love uh, cooking. And here's my spice rack. Um, we can again add me to that. We just build up lots of little shapes. And those tiny, simple shapes build up to become something interesting. And then adding a person in, a bit of context, makes it so much more fun, so much more interesting. Next, we can keep building and building and building. So we can move into my living room. Now, my dad is a electrician by trade, but he's uh, retired. And now is a sort of, uh, I'm going to call him an avant-garde carpenter sculpture electrician so he loves making these crazy lights um, and one of the lamps we have in our uh, in our living room is uh, made from an ash tree and he's tunneled the wires through and it's basically just <laughs> a big tree in our tiny living room but it's really fun to sketch this kind of thing um, and then I can add in the shapes which make up my sofa we can add in a little bit of a surrounding you know the tree in the back and the uh, little uh, sunflower painting we've got on the wall. And of course, we've mentioned already, but Betty was bound to feature at some point today. So Betty is up in the little corner there in her crate. And now we've got a, a scene, a full scene, just through simple shapes and simple ideas. Now, when we sort of set out to create projects, one risk or hurdle that I can certainly often fall into is going every bit must be better or more complicated or improved than the one before. You might notice that my little wall line in my living room is a bit wonky and that's actually okay. For me, that's okay. That's yeah, not perfect, but this isn't supposed to be perfect. This is supposed to be fun. And we've got this awkward gap now, haven't we? So instead of trying to be clever and amazing and all these other fancy things, all I'm going to do is fill up that gap with a few extra little fun doodles. So I can draw my TV, pop a little person on there, perhaps this is the news. We've got this really fun plant, big leaves. Tash loves her indoor gardening. We've also got a lovely outdoor garden, but she loves all our house plants. Great fun to sketch and draw those. And then we can just draw the things I'm dreaming of, croissants and mug cakes and cakes and coffees and all <laughs> These things can all just build up and fill up our space. And it doesn't need to be any cleverer than that. Before you know it, our page is full and we can move on to the next one. And now that we have moved on, let's move outside. We've <laughs> examined my kitchen. We've examined my living room. Let's just have a look at my house. So doodling doesn't need to be confined to really simple objects and simple scenes. It's the idea of simplifying complicated things. You know, we could actually have done an incredibly lifelike painting of one of my little cakes. Could have taken us hours, but we didn't. We did a doodle. Since we're outside, let's examine what's in, inside my garage. So I love a bit of DIY. Uh, I love a bit of carpentry. I'm not, um, let's say I'm not good at it, but I get it done. So I've got a collection of tools. I've got my sort of, as, as every good um, home carpenter needs a collection of wood they will never use for anything. Um, my saws, my little drawers, these things are all just simple shapes. And again, to make it a bit more interesting, make it a bit more of a scene, I've just popped me in it, popped me in at the beginning, holding a holding a, a, a drill, of course, and wearing some kind of apron, um, which I never really wear, but I feel like uh, for the purposes of my doodle, having a, a kind of... Um, 
protective coverall just feels right. Next, we can actually start to make things even more interesting, complicated. So we can actually practice perspective, interior perspective. So the kind of perspective you might get if you're out sketching uh, in a cafe or sketching in your house. So we start off with the corner of a room. And instead of all the horizontal perspective vanishing off to the right and left, it actually diverges. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it moves away. So it's, it's really um, brain freezing or brain scrambling. But it's okay if we just think about things as simple shapes. And this is something we go into a little bit more detail in the Skillshare class, working out how our boxes fit together. So just think of our objects as boxes. You'll find that you can actually achieve remarkably awkward perspective remarkably easily. Um, here we can then add in the sort of distant view through a window, simple textures for a plant and for some curtains. And also not worry that the perspective has gone a bit wrong. I've kind of fish-eyed it, giving it that wide lens view um, from my drawing on the right-hand side in particular with that chest drawn. But it's actually quite fun like that. It, it's fine. It's not perfect, um, but it, it's fun. And then we can move around and just do some really simple things to fill the rest of our page. I've stretched my brain too much with that perspective. So drawing some wellies, me having a little uh, pan on our on our cooker and finishing it off with my blender, the uh, back to the kitchen. So one of my favourite things in the kitchen, of course. Um, and we could call this done if we wanted to. Uh, it's a really fun page. I actually think this is a really, really fun page, both looking at it you can explore and you can see all these sort of quirky ideas simple shapes which i like um i also think it was really fun to do i genuinely enjoyed myself doing this um and getting to film it uh, even better and getting to share it even more fun there is more that we can do though so in my previous doodle videos which i've done on youtube um i've always left it here but we can enhance it beyond this so we can use simple tone and simple color for example what i would like to show you then is how we just can use some water brush pens these sort of simple brush pens which just give us a nice gray wash um and create very simple shadows not everything needs a shadow but if we just pop little shadows in the corner of a few objects it kind of has an extra 3d touch it feels a little bit more fun a bit more alive Similarly, I can pop out some colours. So I've got um, a series of alcohol ink markers. I've only got five uh, primary colours, a green and a, a brown, so kind of like secondary colours. Um, and we can just touch in little happy punches of colour. We don't need to colour in. You'll notice I'm using the chisel end, the big end, for these tiny doodles and just a punch of colour in a few places. And for me, that look really lifts the whole idea, the whole project. And just like that, we are done. So if you enjoyed this, do like and subscribe. It's an unbelievable help um, to subscribe. It really promotes the channel and gets other people watching. Also, let me know, what do you think? What do you like to doodle? Do you not like to doodle? Do you think doodling is a waste of time? Or like me, do you think doodling is a great use of mindfulness as well as an opportunity to play with little artistic ideas. I don't think I'm right. I just think that's my opinion. And I'd love to hear your opinion. And of course, I'd love to see you in the next video and on Skillshare if you'd like to join me there. So thank you everyone for watching my little sketching videos. If you enjoy my content, please do subscribe to my channel because it makes me really, really happy. Thanks again.